Okay, so let's try this. Draw the structural isomers for the alkane C6H14 and give the systematic name for each one. Draw all the structural isomers of C6H14. systematic name for each. Okay, so let's try to attack this problem using the techniques we talked about earlier. Still working or? No. I think I'm done. Okay. Yeah, but I'm really okay. Good at ice so. Okay. <laughs> now the key thing is to try to use the systematic approach that we talked about before. So one thing you should do is actually write down what your longest chain is. Um, since these are difficult problems for us, we want to use all the notational tricks we can. Well, just reminding ourselves what our longest chain is would be helpful. So we started with the longest chain with six carbons. There's really only one way to do that. So the next thing is to say we're going to do a longest chain with five carbons. 
And yeah, I think you guys might have missed one or two, and the reason is that we're not being systematic enough. So let's write the five carbons. One, two, three, four, five. Now, how many extra carbons do I still have to put in? One. All right, should I put it here? No. Because that'll take me back to six carbons. Can I put it here? Yes. I think you guys both missed that. I got it. Oh. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> oh, there you go. Very good. My mistake. Good. I missed it. Okay. okay. <laughs> now, what, you should ask yourself, why did you miss it? Well, maybe you didn't do what I just did, which was systematically look at every single carbon and ask, could I ask, add the, the last carbon here? So we shouldn't just, uh, what you don't want to do is just say, well, maybe I'll put one here, and oh, maybe I'll put one there. Because if you just kind of add carbons at random, how do you know whether you've missed anything or not? Being systematic means going through in order all the places you could put it and asking whether that would do any good. That's why I started by asking whether I could put it here. Well, that didn't do any good, but I could put it here. All right. And then the third place I could put it is here. All right. Would it give me a new compound to put a carbon here? Well, wouldn't that be the same as that one? Or no? Which one? The first one. Oh, the fifth. You're saying these two would be the same? Yeah, these two would be the same. Because here the methyl is one carbon from the right, and here the methyl is one carbon from the left. Well, being one carbon from the left is really equivalent to being one carbon from the right. If I just took this compound and flipped it like this, this would now be one carbon from the left. Okay. In fact, now that we've passed the halfway point, it's pretty clear that there's no more isomers to be had. Because any time we put something on the right-hand side of the, the molecule, that'll just duplicate what happened when we put the substituent on the left-hand side of the molecule. Okay. All right, so this was the one that we had missed in this case. So the point is, don't just put in the remaining carbons at haphazard, put them in systematically, thinking about all the different possibilities. All right, and then we went out here to the four carbons. I think you guys did a good job um, on that. Um, so you notice that both methyls could be on the same carbon. Sometimes people miss that. You could put them both on the same carbon, or you could put them on different carbons. But it wouldn't do them any good to put them both on this carbon, because that would just duplicate this one over here. So these two are going to be the same. Also, once I put in the uh, one carbon, it doesn't do any good to put the last carbon over here. Because then I would not have a longest chain of four carbons. Now the longest chain would be five carbons. That would just be reduplicating one of these from up here. So this would also not be a possibility. So there's five. We have a longest chain with three carbons. That leaves three more carbons to put in. Well, I would have here one, two. No, there's no room now to put in the last carbon. That's right. Okay, so good. That's right, five isomers. So you guys only missed one, or you only missed one, you got them all. That's good. 